Good morning, beautiful souls, and happy Easter to us all. He is risen. Christ is risen indeed. We began on Ash Wednesday, Valentine's Day this year, exploring God's foolish love through this Lenten season. And we have made it to a glorious Resurrection Sunday today, just one day shy of April Fool's Day. And today, we have one last scripture to share. In it, we hear about how God's foolish love through Jesus Christ, our Savior, is indeed the hope of Easter. The reading comes to us from the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, starting with verse 18. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are being destroyed, but it is the power of God for those of us who are being saved. It is written in Scripture, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will reject the intelligence of the intelligent. Where are the wise? Where are the legal experts? Where are today's debaters? Hasn't God made the wisdom of the world foolish? In God's wisdom, he determined that the world wouldn't come to know him through its wisdom. Instead, God was pleased to save those who believe through the foolishness of preaching. Jews ask for signs, and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, which is a scandal to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is God's power and God's wisdom. This is because the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. And the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. We have completed our Lenten series on foolish love. And we're reminded through this passage that the wisdom of God often appears folly to the world. Yet it's in this divine foolishness that we find the true path to salvation and love. The journey doesn't end at the empty tomb. It's merely a new beginning beckoning us forward with hearts ignited by the radical and unconditional love of Jesus Christ. On this beautiful Easter morning, reflect on this one last question to you all. How will you carry the torch of Jesus' foolish love into the world around you, transforming your walk and witness in his resurrected light? Let's close together in prayer. Loving God, as our Lenten journey comes to a close, remind us to keep our hearts wide open and our steps guided by kindness, sharing your love in the most authentic ways possible. Inspire us to share laughter, offer comfort, and be present for those in need, letting your light shine through us in every moment. And it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen.